Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and welcome back. Today I have five flutes that I want to share with you from Brian Evans show of Lost Trail Flutes. I did a flute review of one of Brian's flutes a while back here on YouTube and I really really loved it. It's got a smooth voice, a little bit more back pressure but just really really smooth sound. Um, after that flute review, Brian reported that a lot of flutes got adopted. Um, he got um, um, a lot of uh, people reaching out and wanting a flute like they heard me play. Brian recently reached out to me and said, Johnny, you know, I've, I've been making more flutes. I've had a little bit more time and I've got a few flutes that could use a nice, warm, loving home. So today I want to share with you these five flutes that Brian sent to me. These are available through my website. Um, Brian also sent me a nice little letter, a little love letter, um, of what each flute is. So I'll be reading from that too because I'm not as familiar with these flutes, um, but they're really special. I did, uh, I got to go through them already and kind of uh, pick out my, I guess, my favorite. I won't tell you that though because the flute is, is your decision, is your journey. So let's get going into this. They are all numbered. Um, they are numbered on the website that follows this video. Uh, we have a very complex system of numbering. This is number one. Number one is made from Alaskan yellow cedar. It's in the key of F sharp. It has um, magnolia end caps on it. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about this process as we get down here, including finish and how he does uh, his end caps. Um, but this is 400 year old um, Alaskan yellow cedar from Taniki Springs, Alaska. I think I, um, I, think I said that right. Um, they use it in shipbuilding and it's uh, harvested sustainably. The block is Paduk, made from Paduk, um, Alaskan cedar, and, uh, and maple. And here's what it sounds like. I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment. The next one here is made from uh, the same, the same 400 year old um, Alaskan yellow cedar. Uh, and this one has a poplar block on it. So that's one and two. Now we're gonna to get to a little bit different uh, colored flute. 
Um, and I say colored uh, because this is actually a poplar flute and it's been um, dyed with um, an earth pigment, okay? And uh, so this is poplar. It's also in the key of F sharp um, and it has a, um, a poplar block. So everything on here, even though it doesn't look like poplar, this is all poplar. It's just been naturally um, dyed here. So here's what this flute sounds like. Very nice. All right, I've got number, f whoops, that's number five. Let's go to number four. What's behind door number four? Is that how this works? <laughs> All right, so next up we have, this one is in the key of G. It's made from Southern Pine. And it is, let's see, Southern Pine uh, with Magnolia and the block is walnut and poplar, okay? Photos will probably show better on the website. Oops, let me turn this down just a little. And last, but certainly not least, we have number five, which is also in the key of G. Uh, it's made from tulip poplar and has a cherry block and it has a couple of turquoise uh, inlaid bands here. So let's hear what this sounds like.
Well, there you have it. So some closing notes uh, from Brian. Um, all flutes have fully tenon sleeved uh, end caps for strength. So that's really important. I have a long time ago, I had a flute where I bumped the end of it and the end cap went, went flying across the room. So that's really, really important. All flutes are sealed and per protected inside and out with Odie's oil, Odie's, Odie's oil finishes, four to five coats of oil and wax, 100% natural. Um, so, um, yes, easy to freshen up flute surface with any beeswax based wax. Okay, uh, and for future note, I can also offer more gloss finish that I use so anyway, I just wanted to share these flutes with you. I'll leave it a, a link in the description below. Uh, it's both my website for these five flutes and then to Brian's. If you want something custom, uh, you can chat with him about that. Um, by any means, I certainly appreciate you being here and uh, hope to see you in another video very soon. Thanks and take care, folks. Hi friends, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're looking to grow as a flute player and achieve more in your flute journey, click below. If you're looking for more videos like this, see the playlist in the corner. And lastly, please consider subscribing so you're among the first to know when new videos drop. Thanks again, see you soon.